One of the most common and effective ways to visualize data is with contours. GMS has a very powerful suite of contouring options. Here is a tin surface of a mountain in Utah. We'll turn on contours. The default contours are linear. Let's look at some of the contour options. We can get to the contour options via the display options dialog or from the toolbar. The contour method is linear and we're using a color ramp. We can also choose to specify the colors. Now we'll switch to a single color. We'll turn off the lighting to see the contour lines better. We'll switch back to using a color ramp and change to color fill contours. The color fill option results in solid color bands. The Fill Continuous Color Range option causes the colors to transition smoothly. Now we'll switch to the Color Fill and Linear option. We can also change the color ramp. Next we'll switch to an intensity ramp. Finally, we'll pick a predefined ramp that is often used with elevations. The contour interval controls the number and, co and values of the contours. For example, we can specify a different number of contours.
We can also specify the contour interval. We can also specify each contour value. The Data Range section lets us limit the range of the data that we contour. Turning off the Fill Above and Fill Below options limits where the contours are drawn. All of these contour options are also available for 2D and 3D grids and meshes.